That's not what I wanted to do at all. I was looking at something else and I was like, oh yeah, let's go to the cafe, why not? Boop doo doo. Oh god. Yes, receive the ship! And I think, is this a frigate? Or is it the full rig? The full meal deal? Which one did I build? Oh yeah, a full rig ship. These are dangerous. So here's what we're gonna do. Gonna completely remove the crew from these. Fill this one up. And put 20, uh, we're gonna have to recruit crew. Don't dismiss the 40. Let's put 20 on this one and 20 on the other. We can still make speed. Um, first of all, this is mine. Andreas, that's right, Andreas is garbage at commanding ships. This guy's better, right? I'll have Emilio command that one, and then I'm going to recruit crew. And we don't need much, we just need enough to get where we're going. Uh, wait, how many... Did I set that ship up with... Cannot carry cannons, which is fine. So actually, before I go, I'm gonna start building another one. Although I might build a frigate. I don't like how he calls me ho every time I talk to him. It's not really necessary. So copper, and I, may, I messed up earlier. Um, you can haggle him down. So that saved us a lot of money. What should we call this one? I leave it to you in the chat. Not far. Well, that's really pessimistic. I mean, <laughs> but accurate. <laughs> we won't be able to sail very long. How about the very long? We will be able to sail very long because <laughs> our ship is called that. Hey, I would never make a penis joke. Don't dick around with that kind of stuff. And we're gonna do kind of a curveball here. We're gonna do 240 bunks, 150 guns, and there we go. Can I fit unsinkable? I can, yeah, unsinkable, yeah. Has to be a maximum of 10 letters. Um, okay, we actually needed to go to the cafe. Let's see if there's any sailors. Nope, excuse me, seamen. Oh, 
Oslo is another dumb port. It's known for its wood. Isn't it good? Norwegian wood? That has to have been a joke on the part of the developers. So the nice thing about these La Reals is that they handle perfectly well, I think with 40. I'll put 70 on, just because I have them. And then we're also going to... Do the sign. I think that, that song was about an affair that John Lennon had, right? Pretty sure. Kind of awkward. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let's do Gus. Okay, so we now have a new ship. We have our other ships uh, ready to be moored, more or less. Now the problem with the full rigged ship is that it uh, costs a lot of money to keep it running, but it is the most, well, okay, so we were talking about this in another episode, another stream, about what the most powerful quote unquote ship in the game is, and it, again, it depends entirely on what you want to do. But the full rigged is among the very best. It's huge and powerful. Albert Saxton, the Dutchman. Are they even trying? Like, what's going on here? able to make speed. Let's increase that. Let's go back to 20. We'll still be able to just absolutely clobber this guy. Hang on. Yikers. There we go. All right, Albert. not gonna duel him just to see how much damage this does to him. Eh, you know what? Not impressive. The nice thing about this is that, I mean, these are all galleons that I'm fighting here. And I was able to withstand that. It appears that 50 is like the cap for how how many enemy sailors you can kill. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> Game. He might get away. It's the terrible thing about this. Nope, he's not gonna. Okay, well, fun stuff. Oh, no treasure.
So yeah, it looks like you can only kill 50 a turn. Oh boy, what? Yeah, I've got three ships. Axiom. The finest. Here's to the finest crew in Starfleet. Engage. Imagine a funky drum fill. Captain Catalina Urbanzo of the USS Shiny ship. See, that's the name of the ship. I made it work. Pat, pat, pat. So that's one of the joys of uh, my past collection of, again, completely above-board MP3s. Scientific truth, or historical truth, or personal truth. It's the guiding principle upon which Starfleet is based. And if you don't have it within you to tell the truth, you don't deserve to wear that uniform. I've, I've found the whole You're the Man Now Dog collection on that hard drive. It's got that on it. It's like eight volumes of it. Wonderful. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, should we go? Let's go to Antwerp. Because I don't have it in me to sail all the way to Nantes with these slow ass ships. Yeah, they had a replacement up for a while, I know, Eris. I think. Might be making that up. Hmm. Baby likes chocolate. We're selling chips. What was... Name a good Star Trek game. The um, TOS adventure games are pretty solid. But beyond that, come up with one. I defy you. Oh, uh, yeah. Lead Force was pretty good. It was a little generic, I felt like. It's fine. Thank you, Cobia. Always looking out for me. I have not played that. Grimoth. But I just generally feel like the Star Trek titles have been kind of underwhelming. Especially when compared to Star Wars. Ketobase! Konbanwa. That's <laughs> the full extent of my Japanese. <laughs> yeah, Star Trek Online. I know some people seem to really like that. I'm not... <laughs> I say that I'm not really into MMOs. I loved playing World of Warcraft when I just played it in Classic a little bit. But that said, it kind of lost its appeal after a while. Um, what else? But I, I haven't tried the Star Trek MMO. I just... Uh, ugh, oof. Why Star Trek stuff is so bad. Bridge Commander's pretty good. 
actually. That's the one with Picard in it, right? Or am I thinking of the actual... Is that the one that's a... a you know, the AR kind of thing? VR thing? I liked uh, Starfleet Academy. Definitely remember that being good. You know, maybe, yeah, maybe maybe we're being, or I am being a little bit unfair about Star Trek not having good games. The map mechanic. In this, you might be thinking of its prequel, Uncharted Waters, which has a hilariously inaccurate map. I want to play it solely because it is so impossible to figure out where you are if you have, like, if you're an earthling like if you are like ah yes i know where i am because this is the planet that i live on and i know how it looks guess what you're on a strange new world in uncharted waters the waters are truly uncharted you know it, it's disappointing i might attack this guy well that's true i mean and i just have always felt like it's probably just because I haven't remembered them. That the games in uh, the Star Trek franchise just aren't that amazing. And the truth is, it's just that my memory is probably not great. So, so let me ask you this, Keto. Did you, when you played this, when you sailed to the edge of a screen, it would pop over to another screen? And you, you, they didn't have this kind of seamless world that we have now, right? Like you had to go from screen to screen to screen? Is that how it worked? Get back to me on that one. Uh. Don't do that. So yeah, that was the, the original game, which is impossible to... Uh, to navigate in again if you're if you're a person living on earth you will have no idea where you are i think my crews are gonna get killed except for this one so we might have to duel this guy if i can sneak in there i'm kind of surprised well we'll see how this goes oh god damn it Gonna sail in there? Okay, well, stupid. Good good thing for me. No, yeah, I think that that would be just about the only way to make it reasonably playable. I mean, there's an appeal to that if you're super into navigation and things like that, but for the casual, that is a, a non-starter. Damn it. I think we're going to lose this already. <laughs> yeah, but like, what good is immersion if the game fucking sucks, <laughs> you know? like. <laughs> gonna do a dodge and I backed out of him. I tell you, I'm, I'm a coward. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ah. Oh. These cards are terrible. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Oh shit. Villum. I like to just draw maps in my spare time for fun. That's a fun effing fact. I draw whole fantasy worlds. Worlds of magic and wonder. Worlds of fantasy and magic and wonder. Oh my god, <laughs> our one thrust got completely buried. That's terrible. We are in a pickle. Those are some bad cards. Why, why do you do this? <laughs> why? I should have changed my uh, crew or my other ships to, to retreat. Again? I say yes. Do that to me one more time. Oh! It's a spicy meat of ball. Okay. <laughs> what do we think here, guys? Big thrust. The big thrust. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it, I was gonna block. Yes. Majesty. Majesty. Hey, you gonna wear that crown? Hey, queen, you dropped this. That's what they said to me. When they gave me the crown. Right? Yas Queen, as they say, online. Just trying to see which ones have the most crew, so, you know, we don't die. Not all queens wear crowns, guys. I want Spider-Man! Lethal knows what I'm talking about. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so we're, we've got a little bit of a problem in the shape of the bodies of our dead crew. <laughs> so we need to figure that whole situation out. Uh, I forget where I am, too. Is it convenient for me to stop somewhere? Maybe like a Circle K or something? Do they even still have Circle K?
we don't have we've never had very many in Oregon that I've known of so okay I'm just checking definitely no sheets here we're way out of uh, sheets range oh yeah transfer crew Hmm. Hmm. There we go. We're gonna go to Nantes. You know what? I changed my mind. We're gonna go to Genoa. I'm tired of mucking around with this. Boy, Vic. 